So yeah, I think the first of the three has three examples for that. Um, I think we'll actually, I think as much as I want it, I will briefly say we talked about Kanzeon and how that's not actually like a work of technology. It's just a archetype. It's a, it's a Jungian game, Persona Four, but she looks oh, yeah. like a like the little robot of Alex like Yeah, so Kanzeon is is another name for Kanon. So yes. they're the same figure. Um, and <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting. Image. Wow. Yeah. So I guess what's your reaction to that? Uh, I mean, it does sort of, you know, the the flowing robes are something you see in some classical iconography of Chinese and, and Japanese descriptions of this figure. The this kind of odd head almost looks like a, a sort of three layer umbrella, which mm -hmm. is also something you see a lot of over sort of sacred figures. Anthropomorphic figures and, and Buddhist art, and uh, it's, it's a robot. <laughs> and then here's Kozeon, a revolution. That's mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I mean, there's that. So telescopes, and multiple arms. So the multiple arms is a pretty common theme in, in uh, Asian iconography. Mm -hmm. Telescope, meaning, you know, sort of mm -hmm. suggesting that this, this being has increased perceptual powers, heightened perceptual powers. And doesn't this also sort of relate to the Heart Sutra, with, with it being around the universe? It could, it could. You know, the, the Heart Sutra, you know, form is emptiness, emptiness is form, uh, sort of this cosmic vision of uh, interdependence in the world, you know. So how I guess how do you make how, how with this with these two figures how do you make that that balance of how how Persona Four is this sort of establishing the merging of this ancient figure with with a more technological aesthetic? Yeah, I mean that's I mean it's something that that's very you know it's very striking and it's kind of odd but it's not that surprising because I think that's something that especially Japan and to some extent China is is playing with and they're playing with it from the Buddhist side too. It's not just people sort of taking random Buddhist images and symbols and so on. It is that probably, but but the Buddhists themselves are, because in some ways Buddhism is in decline in Japan, mm -hmm. and so the Buddhists themselves are kind of asking themselves, well, how do we, how do we appeal to a kind of younger generation? Mm -hmm. How do we make ourselves more relevant? Mm -hmm. And technology is one of those ways. Yeah, and then there's 